I thought uh, you know our team played pretty well tonight for uh, two periods. I thought we came out and played pretty well in the first period. Had a good effort. I know BU had some shots, but we uh, felt like we still played a pretty good first period. And the second period um, got away from us a little bit. You know that they score on that first shift in the second period and. Uh, in their second goal, and I thought we get deflated a little bit. Uh, then they get the power play goal um, to go up three nothing. But I was really proud of the way our team responded in the third period. I thought uh, Brandt got us going with his goal, a great shot, and um, we had some terrific chances, you know, to make it a, a one goal game. And then with the power play late in the end, we just had a miscommunication, and you know, we won the draw, which is something that. Is the hardest part sometimes of that six on. We actually turned it into a six on three. We won the draw, but uh, we just had a miscommunication and uh, puck came out of his own. But overall, I was I was very happy with the way we competed. I we knew they'd be hungry uh, coming into this game, and I thought I thought our team gave a pretty solid effort. It's kind of tough weekend for you guys after so. No, I don't. I don't think it was overconfidence. Um, you know, it was. Uh, you know, Friday night we played. Uh, you know, Bentley. We won two games this weekend, and we had a good game there. We just couldn't, we couldn't score. We ran into a pretty hot goaltender, and we hit some posts, and that's going to happen some nights. Uh, I think, you know, our special teams need to get better, uh, and, and we weren't as sharp on special teams. Uh, this weekend, and I think that that certainly cost us uh, in the Bentley game, and I mean, it was the goal difference tonight as well. Well, Greg, can you talk about how it feels playing your second game after an injury and to get you know, your first goal of the year and kind of how your legs are going after time off? Uh, yeah, it's definitely like a, like a learning curve almost trying to get up to you know, up in game shape. Um, you know, when teams won three in a row, it's kind of nice to jump in there, but at the same time, you want, you don't want to slow anything down. And I think as far as speed wise, yeah, I'm a little bit behind. But as more games goes on, hopefully I'll eventually get to where I should be at. Where I know I can be at. Mike, what did you feel like started to grow, grow your way? Why were you skating better specifically? What more better? What more better as you got into the third period? There? You know, Mike. I think when we regrouped after the second period and we came together as a team, we lost uh, Jordan Sims in the second period. So. And part of that was we were scrambling with different line combinations in the second period, but when we were able to regroup and sit down and come out and say, okay, this is how we're going to attack the third period, I think we're all on the same page. And uh, Brant's got a full, got us really going. It really ignited the bench, and the, the guys played, you know, hard. I didn't feel BU had the territorial edge that they had had in the previous two periods uh, after Brant's goal. Can you talk about the play of uh, Matt Grogan, especially in the first two periods with the, uh, a lot of great A chances for the U? Yeah, he did. He, he made uh, some great saves. And he's been solid, Jeff, all year long. Uh, you know, all year long he's been pretty solid. And that's what we expected from him coming back this year. Uh, I think he's a fifth-year senior. So uh, he had a redshirt year. So he, he's been a rock back there. And, we're going to need him to be good the rest of the way because we, we've got a good club and we'll compete for that Atlantic Hockey League title. Brent, how about just your thoughts on the game in general? Do you come, do you leave here feeling pretty good about the team considering the way you guys skated down the stretch? Uh, I mean, there's no moral victories. Definitely when we come in here, we expect to win. And we're not happy with the results. Or, and, but we know we have a lot we can improve on. There's things we did well out there, but there's definitely things that we can get better on. Michael, was it like to come to the a different team and different feeling? Locker room's the same, Nancy. <laughs> Nothing's changed there. Um, yeah, you know, Nancy, I think um, the first month with the team, things were um, strange, you know, uh, after you've been in one place for 18 years. But now I'm feeling really at home, and I'm feeling that this is my home now at UConn. Um, so, other than not having Jerry York there to talk to before the game, it felt pretty much, you know, uh, business as usual.
Was this a good experience for you, younger guys who will be back facing this team in conference play just to get them here against a high profile program? No question. I think it's um, great. But, you know, playing at Minnesota State back to back was a great experience for us, too. That, in some ways, was even better for us because we had to go back to back against a, a team that's going to compete for the WCHA title. Uh, whereas, you know, next week we're, we're going back into our league. But, of course it is. I think it's, it's great. This is a building we're going to be coming to now um, for years to come. And the more we get familiar with it and our guys uh, learn to play here, the better we'll be.